The goal of this project is to take the best features from my old 12-year-old Lazine pump and add them to a new rechargeable pump I just bought on Amazon. The gauge is very accurate and very easy to see when you're pumping. But the best part of the pump is the chuck. The way it attaches to the Presta valve is really great. One of the cool features of the chuck is the ability to release the pressure from the hose which means no air escapes when you unscrew the chuck. When I shopped around for a rechargeable pump, I found this one, which has a really cool feature. You can set a default pressure, in my case, 95 PSI, and that it'll always start at that point when you pump up your tires. I have information on this pump and all the other parts at the end of the video. The goal of the hack is to fuse a Lazine chuck to the new pump to get the best of both worlds. I found a rubber hose on Amazon for about $10. I like the fact that it was rubber because the compression ring on the new chuck would easily grip the rubber. So now it's time to do some surgery. You have to cut the hose and fuse the new chuck onto the hose. I put the hose in the vise and use the edge of the vise as a guide so when I cut it using the razor knife I got a nice straight cut uh, through the hose and taking a look it looks pretty good. The only physical part of the project is to force the rubber hose through the compression nut at the end of the chuck. I made a slit in the hose in order to reduce its width to more easily fit through the, the compression uh, ring. In order to force the hose through the compression ring on the chuck, I put it back in the vise. <clears throat> and this allowed me to get some leverage. And it was a little bit of a, of a tough push, but as you'll see, I twisted it through the compression nut. After threading the hose through the compression nut, I had to slice the split part of the hose uh, and after doing that, slightly pull it back so the threads of the compression nut are exposed, which they're going to attach to the chuck. Next is forcing the hose onto the barb at the end of the chuck and then tightening the compression nut to force it on. I found it was easy to put this back in the vise and use the vise as a stabilizer. Final step is to verify that it's working. So I screwed the hose back onto the pump, turned it on, and I could feel pressure. So we had a success. We were getting good pressure through the hose. Of course, the big test is will it work on the bike? So here I'm going to screw the hose onto the Presta valve using the gold ring on the chuck. Next, I'm going to turn the pump on and as you'll see, it's going to start up and it's going to raise the pressure of the tire to 95 pounds per square inch and it will stop working exactly when I hit that level. The final step is to push the release button on the chuck, which will let the air out of the hose, and then unscrew the chuck using the gold ring that's on the chuck. Here are screen snaps of the rechargeable pump, the rubber hose, and the Lazine chuck that I found on Amazon. The total project cost was about $72 and it took me about three hours to complete the project.